Thanks to CuriosityStream for supporting this episode of SciShow. Go to curiositystream.com slash scishow to start streaming thousands of documentaries and nonfiction TV shows. All creatures have some way of sensing infrared radiation, the low-frequency light waves that we feel as heat. But some dial this sense up to 11. Like they can detect a fire from kilometers away or see their world with heat alone. And these amazing critters are inspiring some super hot tech that could make our world safer and more knowable. Most animals turn and run the other way when a fire approaches, but not some species of jewel beetles. They're always on the hunt for freshly burnt wood, because that's the only place their babies can develop. So they need to be able to sense a fire from pretty far off. At the same time, they need to distinguish between recently burned and burning wood, since the latter would kill them. So they have evolved some really fancy heat sensors, which help them detect fires at a distance and determine whether something close by is too hot or just right. And these heat sensors are in their armpits. Well, not really their armpits, because beetles don't have arms, but they do have a pair of pits below their middle legs. And each pit contains around 70 dome-shaped sensors that expand when they absorb the energy from infrared radiation. This expansion bends a single, very sensitive hair inside each sensor, which then sends a signal to the beetle's brain that there is a fire nearby. Even an incredibly weak signal is quickly amplified by the number of sensors in each pit, which likely explains how they can detect a fire that is 12 kilometers away! And these super-sensitive pits are inspired new types of wildfire sensors. The goal is to make something that works essentially the same way. When exposed to infrared radiation, a liquid inside a dome-shaped sensor expands and in turn deforms a small membrane to send a signal. Early prototypes are not yet as sensitive as the beetle's pits, but they are inexpensive and will only get better with time. And that's great, because more sensitive and affordable sensors could be a huge improvement to our existing wildfire early warning systems, especially as forest fires become more intense and widespread due to climate change. While the beetles might have the best long-range fire detection in the animal kingdom, their short-range sensing is kind of meh when compared to certain snakes. Pit vipers get that name from the pair of heat-sensing pit organs below their eyes, and they're able to create an image out of the infrared radiation they detect. This helps them accurately strike at their prey, a feature especially useful when hunting at night, when lots of yummy small animals are active. The pit organs organs work like a second pair of eyes, except that they see heat instead of light. Each pit has a sensory membrane hanging inside with several thousand heat-sensitive protein channels embedded in it. And these channels are super sensitive. They open up for temperature differences of just a couple thousandths of a degree, which is important when your prey's fur or feathers are similar in temperature to the surroundings. When a channel opens, an electrical signal is sent to the snake's brain. The pattern of signals is mapped and processed to form a an image, much like how you and I see, because our brains can interpret signals from our retinas, though the snake's infrared image is not as high definition. Still, engineers are hoping to recreate both the extreme sensitivity to heat and the image-forming aspects of the viper's pits, just without the living tissue bit. So they're working on developing more flexible pyroelectric materials, substances capable of turning a heat signal into electricity. We already have hard crystalline materials that do this, but developing a supple membrane version would would open up a wider variety of applications. Like better search-and-rescue robots that can see infrared as well as the snakes. That way, they could find people whose heat signature is being obscured by snow or smoke. But not all of the tech being inspired by infrared-sensing animals is aiming to detect heat. What researchers are learning from bats could teach us more about brains. I know that this sounds like it might be a leap, but bear with me. You see, pit vipers are not the only vertebrates that use infrared radiation to locate prey. Vampire bats also possess this ability. It comes in super handy for them when it's dinner time because they feed solely on warm mammal blood. And it's hard to do that if you can't tell where that blood actually is. So much like pit vipers, they have heat-sensing pits in their faces. But they use a different protein channel, and it's actually the same one that humans use to detect burning 
blazing hot temperatures and spicy foods. Typically, these channels are activated by temperatures over 43 degrees Celsius. But inside the leaf-shaped pits adorning their noses, vampire bats have super sensitive versions that respond to temperatures around 30 degrees Celsius. And it's those proteins that researchers are interested in because they could improve upon a neuroscience technique known as thermogenetics. The basic idea here is that neurons are turned on and off when ion channels open or close. So if, thanks to genetic engineering, you give certain neurons channels that can be opened and closed at will, you can flip them on and off to see what those neurons do in the brain. Now, neuroscientists already do this with light, as there are special channels that can be opened or closed with certain wavelengths. But thermogenetics aims to use infrared and other kinds of long-wave radiation instead, since they are able to penetrate tissue a lot better than visible light. And that could open up whole new avenues of study, as right now, getting the light into the dark recesses of an animal's brain is you know, tricky to say the least. That's why they're excited by the special channels in vampire bats. They may be just the thing to take thermogenetics to the next level. It's clear that for all these animals, their super infrared detectors are evolutionary gifts, which have allowed them to do incredible things. And now they are proving to be gifts to the scientific community as well. Speaking of gifts, if you want to treat yourself to even more awesome science this year, you might want to check out today's sponsor, Curiosity Stream. They're a subscription-based streaming service that offers thousands thousands of documentaries and nonfiction TV shows, including exclusives and originals. For instance, if you enjoyed learning about pit vipers and their infrared vision, you'll probably love The Secret Life of Snakes. It introduces you to some of Europe's most exciting species through stunning videos of their daily lives. CuriosityStream also offers 35 expert curated collections, so whether you're looking for a sciencey documentary, a quick tour of history, or an awesome travel program, you'll find something for you. You can learn more at curiositystream.com slash scishow. And if you're interested, you can use the code scishow to sign up and get an entire year for just $14.99.